Let's take a quick walk around a Teton X trailer just to see what we've got here around the outside. So we'll start on the, at the tongue, and we've got the Cruise Master DO35 hitch, and it's an articulating coupler. It's not your standard ball style hitch because um, this will is basically, a, there's a little plate here and a toe pin slides up in inside of here and then this plate clicks into place and it holds that pin in place. So that's a nice way to make sure that you are always staying connected when you're on the trail. Um, there's a lot of pivot here so that's a, a, a great option and that comes standard on all of our trailers. Um, the parking brake option you can add, um, you can see that it's just a manual style parking brake and you just tighten it, put, tighten that up and those cables go back to the brakes and that sets the brakes for you when you want to lock it in place. This is an emergency breakaway. Uh, you just connect that to your vehicle in case of if the trailer was ever to come disconnected it will lock the brakes for you. This is an option that's been added. Um, this is a chargeback so it's an Anderson connector and then you can plug it into your vehicle and get the cables um, added to your vehicle as well and then you can charge the batteries in the trailer from your vehicle. Our trailers come standard with a seven pin connector. They're just the standard seven, seven pin plug. That's for your lights for, and for your brakes. Um, and then we've got the, the arc jockey wheel as well that's standard. It's actually nice because you can move the trailer around on it as well as um, jacking up and down. This has our custom dry box on it with the molly that's added as well. Um, we've got a front molly panel as well that, that is added. Um, on, the, on the passenger side, you've got a cargo door here that you can add the front kitchen to. So the, what, what we mean by the front kitchen is the refrigerator and a two-drawer two cabinet. You can also get a little pull-out table that's added in there. Um, this is your main entry door. And then our bolt pattern is six on five and a half, and the standard wheel is 15 inch wheels, and that's all that fits on our standard Timbrin suspension. If you upgrade to the air suspension, you can get 17 inch wheels as well, and the tires range anywhere from 31 to 35 inches. And um, that will give you more clearance and also match your vehicle as well. So this is your rear cargo. That's um, normally, that's where our rear kitchen goes, the stove, sink, and um, if you want to add that. You can also leave it empty if you want the storage. This is our awning, and the, these lights here come standard all the way around. And then working our way to the back, we generally mount the propane tank on the back for the, that will plug right into your stove when you've got, when you've got the kitchen out. The molly panels are optional. Uh, they're a nice way to, a nice place to put the propane tank. You can put rotopacks, axes, shovels, um, whatever you can dream up. You can you can attach to this. Another thing that you can use that for is we've got a bike rack mount here, um, and we recommend that since since there is a, an extension that needs to be added to get past the spare tire that you add some strapping. So you, you tie, basically tie up the bike rack to the molly panels to give it some extra support since it is farther away from the trailer. There's a lot of leverage out here when you've got your bikes on it. Um, a full size spare comes with the trailer. So um, whatever, whatever you choose to add to your wheels and tires to your trailer um, would also be on the back. And then on the other side here, we've got room for a shower here. Um, this one does have a shower, You do, doesn't need to, um, it's an optional item. Um, this is just the other side of the cargo for the, that the kitchen would be in. So that's storage there for your shower head um, and other things like that. This is a, a port for uh, water fill. So that is just, um, that's a lockable uh, water cap and that's to, um, just a gravity fed water fill to your 30 gallon water tank. This is a plug for your shore power. It's just the port right now we've got, uh, it's a 30 amp port and we've got a standard connection there. There's also an adapter that we give you with the trailer that can adapt it down so that you can use an extension cord with it. Moving on, we've got a solar port 
Um, this is for a ZAMP uh, portable solar panel. Um, it's an SAE port, so you can um, adapt to it or use it as you would like. Just make sure to know that the, our trailers are wired up for regula regulated solar panels. So um, that is, uh, there's just a fuse inside and it goes to the battery and you can use a solar panel, a portable solar panel to charge. If you park in the shade or if you don't have solar on the, mounted on the roof, um, that's a nice option. Here is your port for the shower if you've added it. And that just pops open and you put your, plug your shower head in here. And then you got a vent for, this is just an exhaust vent for the heat. And then this is your water heater. Uh, and that's a fairly quick walk around of the Teton X trailer.